Sergio Perez has hinted that Red Bull favor Max Verstappen over him and are willing to undercut him. The Dutch GP was covered in drama ever since the first lap, but what stood out the most was Checo immediately pit box and being the first one to change the tires to intermediate, this move granted him a huge advantage over the rest of the grid. At least until he got undercut by Red Bull and Max was pitted ahead of him. Is Checo in the right to fuel controversies or was he at fault for not winning the race? Stay until the end of the video to find out. The Dutch GP provided a lot of excitement for all the wrong reasons. The race stood out for its various issues such as strategy mistakes from Mercedes and McLaren, as well as the radio drama involving Sergio Perez and Max Verstappen. Although Max Verstappen won the Dutch Grand Prix for the third time in a row as expected, his Red Bull teammate Sergio Perez was in a good position at one point, leading by around 15 seconds. Perez made a smart decision by switching to intermediate tires at the end of the first lap when the rain started. This gave him an advantage, while others, including Verstappen, stayed on slick tires. Verstappen quickly closed the gap by passing Gasly's Alpine and Jus Alfa Romeo. He was only a few seconds behind Perez when drivers began changing to slick tires. However, Red Bull decided to bring Verstappen in for the tire change before Perez. When Perez changed his tires one lap after Verstappen, he found himself behind his teammate on the track. Perez seemed puzzled on the team radio when he re-entered the track in second place, asking if Max had used an undercut strategy against him. After the race, how did Perez feel about this situation? What was Red Bull's explanation for this strategy and was it unfair to Perez? Despite Sergio Perez's 15-second advantage gained through a better strategy, that lead dwindled to just 2.8 seconds before Verstappen made his pit stop. It's hard to explain such a significant drop in performance through tire management alone. In the larger picture, Perez is considered the second driver on the team. When he's ahead of Verstappen due to strategy, it's clear that Verstappen being the top driver should be given priority. It's expected that Perez's lead would be temporary and Verstappen's pace would likely allow him to regain the lead. Verstappen was showing exceptional speed, catching up to other drivers at a rate of one second per lap. This suggests that the order of pit stop wouldn't have changed the outcome significantly. Red Bull simply chose to support the fastest driver on the track, which makes sense for the best overall result. There's no need for unnecessary drama, it's a straightforward decision that led to the best possible outcome for the team. Perez wasn't extremely upset after the race, but he was still unsure why Red Bull chose to pit them in that particular sequence. He mentioned, in situations like these, the team probably has more information than we do in the moment. He acknowledged that they would discuss and analyze this decision during their team meeting. He believed that there must be a reason behind it. Perez also mentioned that he faced significant time loss during the initial period when they were using intermediate tires. On one lap, he lost more than four seconds to Verstappen. He attributed this to the team, informing him that more rain was expected. He also shared that if he had pushed harder during that stint, he might have been able to stay in the lead for a longer time. Speaking after the race, Christian Horner, the team principal of Red Bull Racing, explained that the decision was straightforward. He praised Max Verstappen's impressive maneuvering through slower cars and how he quickly closed a gap. Horner mentioned that Sergio Perez was initially tasked with increasing the time gap between himself and the cars behind him. However, Verstappen's speed as he moved up the ranks was so remarkable that he managed to gain 7 seconds on Perez in just 3 laps. This caught the team's attention. As the track conditions changed and some drivers like Fernando Alonso and Pierre Gasly switched to slick tires, it became evident that it was the right time to do so. This observation was confirmed by the performance of Alex Albon, who had already switched to slicks and was doing well on the track. Horner explained that if they had pitted Perez before Verstappen, both Verstappen and Perez could have been undercut by those who had switched to slicks earlier. This would have resulted in Red Bull going from being in the first and second positions to ending up in the first and fourth spots. 
In order to avoid this scenario, the team made the call to pit Verstappen first even though there was a risk that he could undercut Perez. This decision prioritized Red Bull's position as a team. Looking at the situation from a different angle, it's clear that the same reasoning might not have been applied if the roles were reversed. It's important to note, however, that this discussion is mostly hypothetical because it's unlikely that Perez could outpace Verstappen by such a large margin on the same type of tire. But if Verstappen were in the lead with Perez facing competitors like Alonso and Gasly behind him, it's difficult to imagine Red Bull making any decision other than bringing Verstappen in first. The potential threat of an undercut from Alonso was genuine and he later demonstrated his ability to keep up with the Red Bull cars and take advantage of any mistakes. Still, considering that Verstappen had plenty of laps left to overtake slower cars on a track where passing was feasible, it's reasonable to think that Red Bull might have chosen to focus on him. It's understandable why Red Bull favored Verstappen, especially given his current streak of victories. It's a logical choice to center the race strategy around the driver who is much more likely to secure another Grand Prix win for the team. Perez and his supporters might have valid reasons to feel disappointed. He had made a smart decision during the first lap to pit and he gained advantages from that choice. Some could argue that he should have been given a fair opportunity to lead, especially since his strategic call was effective. However, Perez's claim that he could have held the lead for a longer time with better weather information faces a challenge. The time he lost wasn't significantly different from the usual performance advantage that Verstappen holds in such conditions. While Perez might have managed to stay ahead for a bit longer, the reality was that Verstappen's victory was inevitable. The race was always going to be won by Verstappen so the idea of deserving doesn't really apply here. Red Bull's primary goal is to win every race and championship, and Verstappen is the most reliable option to achieve that. This situation emphasized once again where Red Bull places its focus on race days. This approach is reasonable, especially when one of its drivers consistently demonstrates a considerable performance advantage in critical moments. In simpler terms, Perez and his supporters had a point, but Verstappen's dominance was clear and Red Bull's priority is always to win. There are many comparisons you can make from the action. But the one that stood out the most to me was the big difference between Max and Charles, who are considered talents of different generations. It's a bit worrying to think that the direction this trend might be heading. Leclerc was like the character Sisyphus from ancient stories, constantly struggling but unable to achieve his goals. He has his own flaws, but his team's limitations hold him back from succeeding. Despite his talent and occasional mistakes, he doesn't have much to show for it in the end. Max, on the other hand, was in his element driving the Red Bull car. His team performed exceptionally well and didn't make mistakes. He's at the peak of his performance faster than any other driver right now. He's consistent, determined, and nearly flawless in his driving, which is quite remarkable considering the last 25 years of Formula 1. Checo, or Sergio Perez, had a few mishaps during the race. He made errors in the pit lane, crashed there, and hit the tire barrier. He wasn't in a position to achieve a record ninth win, but that doesn't really matter. The team chose to support the driver who had a better chance of staying on track and winning. It's interesting to know that Checo got the strategy call on the first lap and Max didn't. So, in the same race, both the lead drivers were left out and lost their positions. It's kind of funny if you think about it. What do you think? Is Checo right? Let us know in the comments below.